This week's episode of the Hot Highlights is going to be a bit different from the way that I've been doing them previously, just purely because of how long it has been since the last one. So without any further ado, let's get this one started right now. What is going on everybody? My name is Nick from MWK Pop and I want to welcome you back to another episode of The Hot Highlights. It's been a few weeks since the last episode and that has just come down basically to life things getting in the way. As a result, because this show specifically has an effect on the top 20, that hasn't, been, that hasn't come out either. And because of that, we're going to have to do things a little bit differently. There was a lot of songs, there was a lot of music that was released between the last episode and this one. Unfortunately, that would it w it would be a lot of there was a lot of songs. So instead, I'm going to be giving you my basically four favorite songs of the week or of that period in time because there are some songs that I really like did not like, as you know. So I've got four new songs to add to the list for the top 20 coming up tomorrow or that you can vote on for next week. Link in the description, vote on it. Once every 24 hours, you can make as many selections as you want. So when you vote today, make be sure to come back tomorrow. And if you wanna vote for 10 groups in total, you can do that as well. So let's get it started with the first of the four songs that I have as my favorite of the last like three weeks. Hmm, also uh 방탄은 처음이지? BTS is not really technically back, but also kind of back. They're back to promoting a song called Dope, which is off of their brand, not their brand new, yes, their brand new album, their album that they released earlier in the year with the title track called I Need You. And I, for some reason, I never listened to that album. I don't know why. It's something that I should have done. It's something that I'd normally do do. And you know, listening to the albums is a really important part of, of course, what I do as a YouTuber. I just never did it. And as a result, I came into this kind of thinking it was a new song, sort of. Because one, I don't know anything about I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know that it was off the album. And two, of course, this was probably this was definitely the first time I've ever seen it. Now has changed my reaction from what it would have been if it were in you know if I was approaching it like say War of Hormone which was off of their you know a different album or which was off of an album that I'd already listened to so I already knew the song I was familiar with the song but the music video was something I hadn't seen before but overall the song and the video are fantastic they're the typical BTS quality and sound and I mean, it's just really, really good. The most impressive part of the entire video is the choreography, man. Those dance moves are on fire. They are fantastic. And, you know, between that and just the overall sharpness and crispness of the just visual look, the video, I guess you can say, I'm just gonna say like the resolution of the video, but just how crisp everything looked was absolutely fantastic. I really, really did like the video a lot. And I don't really say that too much because the video is not really my focus, but the video was fantastic and added a lot to the song. So that's BTS is one of my favorites. We're going to move on to the next one right now. Teen Top are back and they're getting into the summer music scene where everyone is releasing summer songs right now because of course it is summer so it only makes sense. They are getting in on the action with their newest song called Ah Ah and I have to say that this is really, it's a really good song. It is a, and also it's a huge contrast from what their previous song was. Missing a dark and dreary song perfectly fit for the season that it came out in in the middle of winter, or the beginning of winter, I should say. And this song, a summer song, fantastic. Bright, upbeat, electronic. It's basically everything that you could ask for and everything that you would expect to be in a song that is labeled as a summer song. So it is really, really awesome to see that Team Top changing it up from their last release. It's really, really awesome. The video is great as well. You know, and again, just like with BTS, their choreography is pretty damn good as well. I mean, that footwork with those dance moves is ridiculous. I cannot possibly even imagine how I could do that or how much they had to have even practiced that to be able to pull that off flawlessly for at least one take 
for that to be in the music video. So just because of not, not because of that, but because of the song and then of course the impressive footwork with their dance moves, that is one of the reasons why Teen Top is one of my favorite releases of the last couple of weeks. So we gotta move on to my third favorite song. Let's do it right now. Coming in on a list of pretty well-known groups, we've got a rookie group that just made their debut a few weeks ago called Playback, and their song, named after themselves, of course it would mean that it's called Playback. So Playback with their song called Playback, make, making their debut this week. Of course, as with the trend of the summer, it is basically another summer song, but they are kind of changing the hip hop trend, or not the trend, the hip hop, the K-pop trend a little bit. They're going something, they're going with some, with a sound and style and genre that is a bit slightly different from what everyone else in K-pop is doing. And I do like the, it's a bit refreshing. It's not completely drastically different and the song itself is not really that crazy amazing but just the fact that it is a little bit different and it's a bit unique from everything everybody else is one of the it's really really good as far as a debut goes it is really really solid and it gives us a good foundation for them to build on they've made me a fan of the group because just the the song is is pretty is really really awesome the chorus part of it is really really addicting i really really love it it's a really easy listen to it's, it's, it's a song that's really, really easy to listen to. It doesn't really have any sort of like heavy, crazy electronic beat or any sort of crazy heavy beat to it. It's just a really mellow song that has kind of a bit of a, you know, strong undercurrent of a beat that is really good. You just sit back in your chair and just jam to it. And that is, you know, why I like it. I like it so, that's why I like it. It's so laid back. It's a bit hip hop, but it's also not hip hop at all. And it's just a, you know, basically combination of a bunch of different genres smashed together which is a bit different from anybody anything that girl groups specifically in k-pop are doing these days which i do like the change in the trend in style as far as what they're promoting similar to what sonamu did when they came out with their you know actual hip-hop look and sound and style with their uh, debut song called deja vu so playback and their song called playback my number three not my number three but my third favorite song of the last couple of weeks so we got one more to reveal and let's do it right now <sighs> rounding up my four favorite songs from the last couple of weeks we've got mama moo and their newest song off of their uh crazy pink or pink crazy album called um oh uh yeah and I don't specifically like, I mean, I actually, I shouldn't say I don't specifically like this song. Let's tone that back a bit because my music video reaction, I didn't say specifically that I didn't like it. I don't believe, I don't remember. I said I was disappointed in the song and I said that it felt like it didn't really have that Mama Moo personality. But, you know, regardless of that, I really, really do like the song. You know, when I listen to it some more and I get over the fact that it doesn't have, you know, any sort of like real feel to it or any personality to it as far as I'm concerned. I really, really do like it. You know, it's a really laid back song and you've got some really, really low key, fantastic vocals, which are not really that obvious as you're trying to do a, you know, first impression review of it as you watch it, which is what I did. And, you know, and another thing too, is I think a lot of, with a lot of it too, the music video, just the crazy idea and, you know, concept behind the music video is a bit distracting as well. That might've distracted me a little bit, but, I mean, overall, it's a really good song it, and it comes off of an absolutely fantastic album as well. So if you haven't listened to the album, you definitely should because that album is full of songs that if they had picked them to promote, I would have been, oh my God, Mama Moo, you are killing it. But they picked this song to promote it and as, as a result, I'm not really like, oh my God, Mama Moo, Mama Moo, you're killing it. But it's a really solid song. It's a really good song and it does, I kind of draw people in to the you know, idea or to listen to the fantastic album that it, it that, you know, the song comes off of because every other song on that album is exactly what I would have wanted or was expecting from a promotion track from Mamamoo. And that is really, really awesome. So those are my favorite songs of the last couple of weeks. We got to talk about, we're not going to talk about, but 
we're just going to briefly mention a couple of other songs from bigger groups that I don't really list. Now it's time to talk about a couple of songs that did not quite make it to my favorites list. And first off, we have got AOA and their brand new song called Heart Attack. And I was really hoping that this was going to be a good song. Honestly, I'm kind of at the... You know, I'm fed up a little bit with the fact that they're not doing their rock group sort of, you know, style anymore. But whatever the reason is, we've got the girl group AOA and I actually do quite like it. But it's possible that they've done, they've stuck with Brave Brothers too much. But despite all of my criticisms of AOA as a group, the way that their FNC is running them and this song in general, I do have to say overall, it's a pretty good song. The you know, tempo and, you know, beat of the song really, really does fit the AOA style a lot. I really do enjoy it. It's fantastic. The thing that kills the entire song for me, though, is the pitch of the vocals, and it really, really drives me crazy. I cannot listen to it. It is just way too high-pitched and piercing when I listen to it. If they dialed it back a little bit, then this entire song would be really, 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 really awesome. I really do feel it. And... You know, you can say that, you know, when I came into my music video reaction, I was always going to have a negative attitude. But when the big criticism, the only real criticism that I have of the entire song and video is something that everybody, uh, a lot of other people share as well. Yeah, I, you, what you say really doesn't have much credibility or does it make any sense in my mind. The second song that didn't make quite make it to my favorites list is Sistar and their song called Shake It. Now, Sistar have been coming out with these summer songs yearly and they kill it every single time. This song, this time though, I mean, they still killed it. This is a really, really fantastic summer song, but it is definitely not their best offering. It is not the best song that they have ever released as far as, you know, being the, the whole summer feel and stuff like that. And that is quite disappointing. It's a really solid song. I like it a lot. It's really, really good. But comparing it to, you know, songs like Loving You, I don't really think it's quite a fair comparison because it is so one-sided towards loving you as by far the best sister song ever. At least this is my personal opinion. That's probably one of the best sister songs ever made, ever released. And you know, it's, it's going to be really difficult to top that. And they didn't really come anywhere near with this song. So that is it. Those are my four favorite songs that you can vote for next week's Hot Highlight Top 20. And those are two songs that didn't quite make the favorites list to be voted on for next week. If you want to vote, check the description. There's a link. Click on it. You can vote once every 24 hours. So once you vote, be sure to come back every day after that and continue voting. You can make as many selections as you want every single time you vote. So if you want to vote for 10 groups, do it and that and then show your support for all of those groups at the same time. So that is it for this episode of The Hot Highlight. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a rating. Get connected with me on social media. Check the links down in the description box below for links to my social media profiles. And that is going to be it for this episode. As always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.